Shah, Steve Hotshot, Motivate Club, Biggie Jamal and Paul, Stick to my head and talk. Hey you guys, thanks for tuning in to the Diva Hustle Show. Today we got our guest, Max Apollo. Um, he's dropping his second album. A new single is called One in Need. Thanks Apollo, Max Apollo for joining us. Glad to be here. So how's everything going? Shit, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well to be honest, you know. Got college, got this. You know, I got every all the pre- all that pressure on me, so you know, I'm just trying to stay consistent throughout the year. So what made you get into music? Uh, you know, for me, like, I've been pretty creative, like, my whole life. I've loved music from the start, but, you know, I just, like, I used to draw in class a lot, hell a lot. And mm-hmm. then um, I tried music out when I was, like, 15, but it was, like, back when David Guetta was around. <laughs> so it was, like, really <laughs> bad EDM. I have it on my YouTube still, but, like, on one of my older YouTube, but like that's private. It's it ain't anywhere to be seen. But like um rapping it took a while it took a while, but you know, I started liking I started liking rap. And then I started hearing people that sounded like me with like really high pitched voices like Kendrick Omar, J ID and all that. Mm-hmm. Even Tor Flames. And you know, I was like, you know what? I could do this too. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was basically kind of it. How would you uh how would you describe the kind of music that you make? I mean that's that's a big problem. I mostly do hip hop, but like, you know, I'm pretty much down for anything, to be honest. Okay. And like throughout the whole subgenre, I do like everything. I'm in like done a boom bap old school stuff. I do like new wave stuff. Like even this new like single is like more like pop rap than anything. So like I pretty much do anything. As long as it just sounds good, pretty much. Yeah. Whatever fits my ear, you know? I love the single. It's, it's really hot. So what was your process in creating the single or writing? I don't know. Like, I had, like, this person I was crushing on. But the thing was, I didn't want to tell I didn't want to tell her. Okay. So, like, I was, I was, like, just signed to the label. Oh, bro, Aaron's all laughing and shit <laughs> in the back. Did but, you know the story, Aaron? No, I'm just. I'm hearing this one. <laughs> I don't even think he knows the story, but like, I was just chilling, and like, I found the hi hat beat because like I had just joined the label, and they were like, "Yeah, go through all the beats," and I found it's like this is a vibe, and like, dun, 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 dun. and I just start thinking of the melody super quick, and then I started even you know just thinking of like the lyrics really fast. Like this was like done in like a week. And that was wow. like, and that was like fast for me. <laughs> that was like super fast for me. But like, I'm like running back and forth. I go to school. I come back. I'm like, I'm gonna make this now. And then I just, I'm like going back and forth. And like, my mom's like sitting where I'm at. She's like doing shit. And then like, <laughs> I'm just going back and forth. And then she just hears me in the bathroom, like you know, mumbling the melody. I'm like typing it all down. <laughs> and you know, like for the most part, like I had everything for the song done. But I didn't have that rap verse in the middle. Okay. Like everyone was like, "Yes, I like it, but it's too short." And I'm like, "Okay, I can I could do a rap verse for this." And so, like you know, it, it works out. Everything just worked out really well. Shout out Flora, shout out Hi Hi, you know, shout yeah. out myself for getting this all mixed. Yeah, that was, it was hot. It was definitely hot. So when you go Thank to you. the studio, do you like how 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 was it when you go to the studio? Do you like being alone? Do you have to have people well, there? What's your process when you're recording? Oh, uh, well, I mean, like I got a home studio, so I don't ever I don't go out anywhere. Okay. Like literally just in my closet, like this mic. I used to use this mic before, but um, it really depends. It really depends. Sometimes I can just be chatting with people. I'll mute myself in like a VC. And I'll just be like writing and rapping, mm-hmm. and I, you know, sometimes I like it. It just depends, like on like the vibe of the room, when it comes to people. If not, you know, I'll just leave, make the whole song by myself. Mm-hmm. I'll just chill there. I I know how I mix and I know how everything needs to be. So mm-hmm. it's like I don't really need anyone. So like usually when I'm in a like talking with friends or something in like when I'm like in like a recording mood, it's just like how does this sound or. How does this look, you know? Yeah, yeah. So what's the message that you want people to walk away when the EP drop? Uh, be, you know, with this EP, uh, 
I'd say just be hyped. There's there's something way better coming. Like these are good tracks that are coming out next week, but like not gonna lie, they are kind of throwaway. Like they're they're very good. They're very good tracks in more in depth than I've you know been emotionally about myself. But um, there's way better. There's way better on the way. Like these these songs that I've been making all January have been like nothing but like hits. Whenever I preview them, the people, you know. Yeah. And so, do you have any performance coming up for this 2022? Um, I can't say I have like any live performances here, but me and Aaron with the with the label Triple E Enigmatic, we out here looking to do um a couple festival, a little online festivals, live streams and stuff. Okay. You know. Yeah. What we planning to do? We trying to get everyone together online because that's been that's been like what we've been going through 2020, 2021. Mm-hmm. We can keep this up. We can keep this up. There's some really nice talent out there that isn't comfortable enough yet going live live. Mm-hmm. So we can do like as close as we can with some videos. They show off their creativity and we get everything done. You know. How you feel that the as an artist? How do you feel like the internet helps you as an artist? oh that's like the number one thing that's helped me honestly right you know like i I, like i'm pretty like distant from people at the start Mm -hmm. because i started like back in 2018 and i was like just in college i don't want to really meet i don't really want to meet like music people but you know i just want to do my classes and stuff so when i was starting off you know i would go to all these websites and i would go to rap pad this one called rap pad there was one instagram Mm -hmm. for sure that was the big one i was on and you know i just you network you work with people you figure out things like and then through like discord you know that's where i figured out how to mix that's where i learned how to mix all year one year i was just mixing and mixing and mixing and it was just through like this engineer server Mm -hmm. so yeah it was really this is a helpful tool when you know how to use it Mm -hmm. the question what's what's been the best advice that you've been given as an artist that you still use to, to today (laughs) Oh, <laughs> the best advice. That's a hard. That's a hard one, man. Uh, <laughs> Cause I'm trying to think. I mean, I don't get like advice, advice like that. But I think um, some really good advice that I can think about would be kind of like just being yourself. Yeah. You know, cause like in this guy, like, everyone's trying to be the same thing. And like, if like you have something that you think is beneficial. Mm-hmm. to like the world and like it actually sounds you know sonically pleasing mm-hmm. like go ahead and do that because yeah. like there's plenty of like lanes there's like plenty of lanes everyone has an ear for something mm-hmm. actually that's actually what it is that's actually what it was i just heard this like on a on someone else's podcast that i knew about and they're like talking about how um no matter if you don't like the subgenre or like you know there's like that thing with like, oh, I hate mumble rap. Like, there's a lane for it. There's right. a lane for it. So, right. you know. Yeah, cause mumble rap, uh, you know, they that's like the trap came out down south and and really with like oh, Chicago yeah. and all around there. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's we'll a lane like for all kind of music. Oh yeah, like Florida sounds way different than Chicago. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And that's not even that far when you think about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and you look at it like New York sounds way different than Florida. Florida sounds different than Atlanta. And then when you go, like, you just keep going over Minnesota. And so, yeah, yeah. everybody has a different lanes. Exactly. If you could change one thing about the industry as an artist, what would it be? Sure. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> uh, well, because, like, um, I feel like it's, it's just hard. It's hard to, like, um, you know... With creative control, I think that's the hardest part. Because it feels like when someone blows up, they're not happy with what they make at right. sometimes. Like, uh, you, uh, have you heard about, have you heard Do- Doja Cat, right? Yeah. Because, like, she's, like, talked about in, like, live streams and shit, like, how, like, even though, like, this is, like, some of her, like, I love the music she's been putting out, but, like, she's not having a good time making it. Right, right. But that's what, like, like, you hear from that, like. It seems like artists aren't enjoying themselves when they're making it. And like, it's like the number one thing you want to <laughs> do when you're like working on a job. Yeah. Like you just, you just need to enjoy that. So I think that's like one thing. 
I think, and I feel like that's because like management's like, you got to do this. You got to work with this person. You got to do all that. Like, you know, I feel like everything's forced right now. Right. Right. Who, who would you like to collaborate with in the future? In the future? Um, I would like to think, uh, Jack Hollow would be a great one. Him and Lil Nas X are like super fire. Mm -hmm. I would love to work with those two. Okay. Right now. Mm, I can't really think of any other, but like, those are like the two like ones I think I could be close enough to collaborating if I like blew up, if we're going to say. Okay. All right. So listen, you have the single dropping, right? Mm -hmm. And then what, the 28th of January? I had EP dropping the 28th. Yeah, the EP drops the 28th. So what else right. are you working on next after that? Well, I actually got the album. It's almost done. It should be done actually by the time the EP drops. Okay. So I got to figure out when the album will drop. It'll be in February for sure. Okay. I'm I'm definitely going for a February release on that. And you know we got a ton of remixes of the single anyway. I got um um his partner, his partner from uh, Immortal Being on there on okay. the remix. And then I got an EDM one. I got a Sword and Reverb version. You know you gotta. I'm putting in. I'm putting in all the work for it. Okay. You know? Okay. All right. And, and if people wanted to listen to your music, where do they have to go to find your music and to purchase it? You know what? I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm on SoundCloud, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, TikTok, like Snapchat, almost literally everything, actually. Okay. Yeah, you just got to look up my name, Next Apollo, spaced out, not one letter. And then you'll pretty much find it. All right. Well, thanks for coming, Paz. Artist to artist, I always appreciate your craft. Um, for real. You know, congratulations. Like I said, on the single is hot. I love it. Um, I added it to the station. So ah, thank it's, you. It's in rotation. So keep up the good work. Thank you, bless. Now, the house, the house, the house, the house, the house.